guys, my name is Cypher Dan, and well, I kind of got ripped off of 20 freaking thousand freaking dollars. Freaking. Do you understand how many burritos you could buy with that amount of money? If a good burrito is around eight dollars, including tax. Hold on, let me get my calculator real quick, because, you know, math and stuff. That's 2,500 burritos, like what? That's worth almost seven years of daily burritos. Wow, that actually makes me a little sad now. Mm. Okay, so obviously I can't really talk about who this is, so we're gonna use some fake names and all that fun stuff. Cause, yeah girl, ain't about to get sued after already getting ripped off of 20k, let's at least make a video about it, you know? Anyways, after graduating college, I wasn't really able to get a job right away. Yep, that's right, lived in my parents' basement like a true college graduate. But, 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 I was also working on my art portfolio, because I didn't really have one in the first place. And on the side, I was kind of hardcore binge watching this one show, uh, about, um, post notes? Good enough. And I kind of really, really, really like this one actress. We'll call her uh, Susan because I can't really think of a better name. So I decided to draw fan art as I always do when I obsess over a show or anything, really. I posted it up online and a couple of days later, I woke up from one of my many naps and I saw that Susan, the one, the only, Susan liked my drawing and my brain was just cartwheeling off the moon. I'm like, bruh, how is that even possible? So, you know, I go to check my DMs and Susan, freaking Susan was in my DMs, sliding in my DMs like, what? What has even happened here? Am I still dreaming? Oh, maybe. How does this even... Okay, okay, a famous... Oh, hello? Did you, did, did you message the right person? Hey, Dan, loved your fan art. I saw your PewDiePie animation too. Brofus, any chance I can commission you for an animation? <laughs> Just had a heart attack. Wait, <laughs> my bad. Um, yeah, sure, of course. Why is this even a question? <laughs> you, you still sure you got the right person? <laughs> Awesome, my manager will contact you with the details. Looking forward to working with you. So after weeks, not days, to even months of not hearing anything from said manager, I finally got a message to negotiate the price and details of said animation. A three minute animation, fully colored with fully designed characters, fully lip sync with fully animated characters with background. Due in two weeks. But, to help me out, they provided the music that I'll need to animate to. That's pretty much it. Um, okay, I don't know if you guys know how long animation takes, but anything fully animated does not, I repeat, does not take two weeks for one singular person to animate. A second of animation has 30 to 60 frames. Frames are multiple pictures or drawings put together to trick your beautiful eyeballs to thinking that those drawings are moving. Drawings that are put together to make it look like I'm flying on a cloud. A single frame alone without backgrounds can take me between 30 minutes to even an hour to draw, depending on how difficult it is. Susan and her manager wouldn't budge when it came to the deadline, so I kinda had to suck it up. Against every sword and bit of logic, I told myself, not everyone gets an opportunity like this. When is this ever gonna happen again? Only a madman would take this job. So I accepted the offer. And the moment that I did, they handed me a contract. This was my very first contract that I've ever had to sign for a commission. And your girl's like, oh my damn, this is hella professional. I sign here, here, here. You want my legs? Sure, why not? My firstborn child? Yeah, go for it. One of my burritos? Okay, this one looks a little fishy, but sure, let's get started. Contracts are very, very scary. They lock you in and they're not really protecting you, but the other person making you sign the contract. The contract actually said by signing this, this contract, this animation is 100% owned by Susan. I can't use the animation to make money off of it, can't post it on YouTube, clip it, or anything at all. I have no claim or rights or anything with this animation that I made. Which is kind of weird, but alright, it made sense. And last but not least, this is the part that actually makes me want to go back in time. Not to fix this whole event or anything like that, but to just straight up slap my past self back to oblivion like... How were you this dumb younger then? I kind of, um, jeez, I hate myself for this, but I did two weeks of nonstop work, day and night, and maybe some naps in between, just to animate this abomination. More than 200 plus hours of straight animating for 200 bucks, with a promise of sweet, sweet exposure. 
I'd love to blame the other person in this scenario because I'm still a little salty about it. But in all honesty, I was also really, really, really obnoxiously dumb and naive to believe that a person that I looked up to would automatically be a good person. That's not the case. There are some scumbags out there. I legit worked a dollar an hour. I was so dumb. Don't get me wrong, working with them was fine and okay, but they also asked me to completely rip off another animator's art style to the point that you can't even recognize that I worked on it at all. So why not just hire that animator? Oh wait, they probably weren't as dumb as I am. So they called me almost every day to check up and correct everything I was doing, which I understand. That's how commissions work. But it was a daily fix, this change, this ad, this, take this out, and I repeat, this was a two-week deadline for $200. The amount of stress was just... <clears throat> for 200 bucks and a tiny little mention of my name, which doesn't even really exist anymore. But then, how did you get ripped off of $20,000? My dude, do you understand how much money these people made out of that one singular animation? How many shirts sold? Yeah, way over 20 freaking thousand dollars, I could tell you that much. They knew how much this video was gonna make because they've done this to other people too, not just me. That contract made it so I can't renegotiate the price at all. Also, that exposure, it didn't even make a dent in any of my social media accounts because nothing happened. No one to this day knows I worked on that animation because it was just that bad of an exposure. So yeah, that's how I got ripped off of 20k and possibly even more. I'm pretty sure they're still making money out of this one animation till this very day and I can't do anything about it. So what have we learned? Never ever work for exposure and I wish someone told me that 3 minute animations are not worth 200 bucks. Unless you know, Post Malone if you want to hit me up I'll animate your whole music video for free. No 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 nope, stop this, not again. I mean... Anyways, if you guys enjoyed that video don't forget to hit that like button, it makes me far glitter. Hit that notification bell too, maybe? Please? And with that said, I'll see you guys later and don't get ripped off. Bye!